Hi, gay. Hi, gay. What, what comes after that? A lot of laughter. No. Hi, Hi gay. gay. The the meme. I don't know. I never saw past that. What is this month? June uh, something. Hi, gay. <laughs> blank, blank, blank. Happy Pride Month. Roll the opening. <laughs> Hello! And welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we're so gay. Woo! It's Pride, it's gay! Yes. Congratulations, you made it! Hi gay! Hi gay! And along with Pride comes Celebration. Yeah, and parties. And acknowledging I love this game gay that we're people. playing today. <laughs> Capitalism. Capitalism! <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> that shouldn't be. <laughs> and capitalism in rainbow marketing is something we're talking about today because I want to talk about pride cringe. I want to have fun with pride. I want to give those companies like a grade. Are they good allies or are they cringe? Daddy, what is cringe? Is that who stole Christmas? Daddy, what is cringe? Your outfit. No, that's shade. <laughs> cringe is something that makes you go mm, or squeamish or uh, like. Or when you go to the movies and the, the attendant who takes your ticket says, have a good movie and you say, you too. Today we are talking about Pride Cringe though. I wanna have fun with Pride. I wanna give those companies like a great. Are they good allies or are they cringe? There's some good, there's some bad, and there's some real ugly. The good, the bad, the ugly. But before we go into the cringe, we couldn't do these episodes without a sponsor. So thank you Helix Leap. For letting us do this episode where I asked you guys questions here on Twitter for some weird corporate pride capitalistic, but maybe allyship posts, because I think there are some good companies out there that want to do good, that are good allies, and want to not, you know, fall back when certain Republicans attack them on the social fun. media. Let's just get right into the cringe, daddy. Give me your best right. cringe. More cringe! Eee! More cringe! I'm gonna throw up. Oh, okay. <laughs> And what better way to start this topic and get our brie toes wet without one of my favorite companies when it comes to pride, Chipotle. Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Which ironically is the worst food for bottoming. But I was gonna say, why are they? Well, what do you think of this advertisement though? Well, first of all, I didn't know, I thought it was a rainbow pill at first. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, is it a rainbow turd? <laughs> I'm more concerned about what it says. Homo estas. Like, homo estas, like, how are you? Yeah. But homo estas? Yeah, well, that's a little cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the episode. Okay. Statistically, Chipotle's always been really, really good about being an ally, supporting, mm -hmm. making sure that they fund and hire diversity, but also then they follow up with <laughs> this one. Which way do you sway burritos, tacos, <laughs> either? Um, uh, so are they trying to say one's male and one's female? Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> trying to be supportive of a pride, but I don't think, A, they're realizing that there is a spectrum when it comes to sex, but also, yeah, they're pretty much saying, do you want a burrito or a taco? And some people don't want either. Come on, asexual. Especially if you're bottoming. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I mean, sexually, <laughs> if we're being... <laughs> And of course, we know there's more than just burritos and tacos, you know? But like, what would someone in between be? Uh, like, uh, guacamole and chips. Guacamole. So, what would you give them? Cringe or, or ally? Well, I did the, the, the first, <laughs> yeah. I see what they're trying to do, but it is pretty cringy. But yeah, you get rid of that gay turd on the front. <laughs> That's just the, the rainbow turd. I didn't even read the text because I was like, what the hell is that? Sorry, Chipotle. Next. Speaking of cringe and just marketing, I need to know, Daddy, if you consider this uh, cringe. Hi, gay. Happy Pride Month. We are sashaying away with deals. This month at the Butter Shop, we're running a special deal. If you can prove that you're queer, you get three pints off your fir your your choice of cream, chuck, or drowned drowned butter. Oh and my if God. you do not chuck, you get four. We love gay, and it's awesome. We love gay. So come visit, and we also make candles now. Wouldn't a candle be nice for gay stuff? In the bathroom <laughs> or just hanging out? Yeah, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Your part. Wouldn't hey? Wouldn't your partner? Oh my God. Butter? From the original old male maid's home, we've been making butter oh, since 1945, oh and we've been accepting all people since 
the last four months. <laughs> We're begging for you to come take a taste of Cecily's Butter Shop. At Cecily's Butter Shop. My friend's mom, um, I think is... I think is gay, so... Uh, <laughs> oh my we God. think it's cool. Is this for real? Turn it off, Willie. <laughs> They put it, posted this without editing? Is this real? This is not real. I oh my god. Okay. Oh. That's cringe. <laughs> it's like a heart attack. <laughs> How do you prove that you're queer? First of all, I want to go into a butter shop and prove I'm queer. How do you I'm prove queer. you're queer? You know that video, daddy. <laughs> you fail. Cringe. No, so this was the whole reference from the very beginning of the episode. Oh. This is what gave me an idea to talk about Pride oh Cringe. Because this is cringe, but this is f***ing hilarious. And uh. intentionally done. Okay, thank this you. Because it doesn't look like it's intentionally it's done. It's done very well. This is a comedian making fun of rainbow capitalism. It sold me on it was the bad framing. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just, it felt like someone in Wisconsin trying to sell cheese. Leonard, <laughs> Leonard, shut it off. Leonard, <laughs> shut it off. Leonard, <laughs> Then how about this marketing from one of everyone's most terrified companies, Duolingo. Are you familiar with Duolingo's internet presence and um, tone? <laughs> Duolingo sounds like a sex act. What is, what is Duolingo? <laughs> Duolingo is an app that helps you learn how to say things in other languages. Okay. Duolingo is very aggressive with their marketing. Do you want to go and read that for me? Why do I have to work eight hours straight instead of eight hours gay? <laughs> I like this kind of aggressiveness, and I like the brand Duolingo because they do real unhinged things. It's like things. a bad dad joke. They followed up with Owl Says Gay Rights, and it shows you how to say different gay phrases in a bunch of different languages, mm -hmm. which is not, like, that's good. But also, App Deleted says one of their, who God knows who what, and they literally say, bye bye, birdie. <laughs> or how about this one? You're a disgrace. No, you. This is allyship as far as I am concerned when it comes to internet debates. They're I love it when down. social media companies, as I think KFC did this as well, they will take on the haters and they will say, funny banter back and forth just to deflate and defuse it. That's that's always very clever to me. I like this. I like this one. This so this isn't is cringy. cringy. There's a point where cringe turns into content. Hi, welcome to our channel. Where it makes the uncomfortable parts now funny. So are we cringe? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Next up, why is some pride marketing so aggressive? This one says, this is currently part of Walmart's pride collection. Come, come out, come, come out, out, wherever you are. are. That sounds like you're make forcing people to come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to me, what makes this cringe is it makes it feel like you are actually hiding because you don't want to be found. Walmart. <laughs> is Walmart. I don't shop there often and there's no judgment to people who do, but Pride merch like this makes me go, eh? Uh. But it gets worse because Walmart has tons of options. Oh yeah? I may be straight, but I don't hate. <laughs> Jesus. That's the bare minimum. That's uh, great. I don't, uh, or how about this one? Homosexualian? Alien nerds might like it. What is, yeah, what does it mean? Does it, does it stand for that we're out of this world? I think so. Oh, yes. Homosexualian. <laughs> it's not a great design, okay. but neither is this last one. Les is more. No. Well, A, don't use the word les. Yeah. I mean, that was a slur in yeah. school. Or that was not a cool thing. Yeah. That was a slur. Rainbow capitalism is just that, when it's capitalistically beneficial for them to support the queer community. And that is where cringe really sets in. That's where we should be kind of upset about that backlash that they, oh, well, we, there's too much hate. We, we're not gonna support you anymore. Allyship is not something you get to be comfortable about. Allyship is seeing that there is injustice or marginalized communities being affected in a negative way. And you not only continue to support, but show even more support for that community. But the other flip side of that is we don't live in a socialistic society, we live in a capitalistic society. And we actually don't hate their money because we need their money, yeah. we like their money, and we like the visibility they bring with it. And we get upset when they, like when Target starts pulling things off the shelves. Which is why when we see stuff like Chipotle doing kind of cringy advertising, they get a pass because They've literally, from the get-go, have always had campaigns that included diversity, mm -hmm. but they also, when they were hiring people, they would actually talk about being LGBTQ inclusive with verbiage and phrasing and just being conscious that, you know, queer people exist. And what are their policies for yeah, their employees? Exactly. What is their corporate environment? Those are other important things for us to look at. And one person even pointed out in that thread how YouTube and Google actively harms our communities 
But then in San Francisco here, they get to be at the front of the freaking parade. Five years ago, when we started the lawsuit that was, you know, asking for YouTube to be more transparent and helpful with the queer community, we literally went to the Pride Board here in San Francisco and said, hey, how do you audit people? Because right now, they're in an open lawsuit where we are literally showing harm. And the SF Pride Board said, well, but the party. But we like their money. But the party. We like their money. That's bad. That's bad. Yes, we want their money, but we have to be conscious about how that money works and what it's going into and how it affects our community. Which is why I'm glad that Helix Sleep. <laughs> Now, Helix Sleep has been one of our longest running sponsors, and they say gay, they hear gay, and they say, do you like sleep? We don't care what you are, as long as you're getting a good mattress. And they know that everyone's different and diverse because they have the Helix Sleep quiz. One of our longest running sponsors here on the channel, and Helix makes it easy for you to find the mattress for you using their Helix Sleep quiz. For you, yourself, or you and a partner. Now again, you can do for one sleeper or two, enter in their names, their heights, their weights, as well as sleeping positions. So me and daddy might have different kinds of sleep positions, maybe even firmness preferences. And if you happen to be like us who are a little older, we do have body aches and pains that we can also specify. Lord knows my knees will never be the same since COVID. But we ended up with a what, Daddy? A dusk? Lux! And, Daddy, how are you enjoying it? I love my dusk lux. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Dusk, dusk, dusk lux. Dusk, dusk lux. lux. Oh. Dusk lux. Yep. And since getting our mattresses, I've actually never had sleep that was this good. I had an old mattress that had some springs in it, and because Helix has springs and this lovely, like, cushioning sensation, they're not only the best mattress for sex, but they're just the best mattress to get a good night's sleep. And before I got this mattress, I had my other mattress for over 10 years. Plus, Helix not only ships to you very, what, Daddy? Quickly. Got some scissors or I got Oh it. my God. I got, it. I got it, I got it. And when you're ready to really let it inflate. Do not try this at home. What do you do, Daddy? Ooh, it's the opposite of a vacuum rack. It goes, ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's eating me. If you've ever bought a mattress, there is that nagging sensation of like, ooh, is this the right mattress for me? I don't know if I like this. So we especially like that they have what, Daddy? A hundred night sleep trial. So over three months for free that you get to try it out. And don't forget, Felix has a 10 year warranty. And they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So if you go to Helix Sleep today and use offer code Y, and you'll get 20% off your own Helix mattress and two free pillows on us. Next marketing campaign. Oh no. The one where KLM used seatbelts for their pride image thing. It doesn't matter who you click with, happy pride Amsterdam. That's a great message. But this is essentially saying the gays are gonna die in whatever plane crash happens. These gays, they're trying to murder me. So, no. <laughs> she can't put it so... together. Come on. Because the lesbians are not going to be able to put their seatbelts together. Yeah. The gays Gay aren't going to be. Yeah. But the straight people, they will. In, in this advertising, to use the advertising zone methods against them. Uh, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> work. Yeah, I get it. No, but, it's not good. But, you know it would be real allyship? If they had an airplane that just had uh, rainbow seatbelts like that. Because that's kind of cute. I like the rainbow seatbelts. They'd have to change out the seatbelts every month. I have to <laughs> be gay every day. <laughs> I get to be gay every day. Sorry, apologies. And then some Sometimes, uh, rainbow capitalism just doesn't age well, especially when it's Bud Light. Because, as we all know, Bud Light's been through their own campaign struggles, <laughs> where they were trying to sponsor queer people. Dylan, specifically a trans creator who's never gone out of the way to hurt anyone, was attacked. And then they got blowback, mm -hmm. big time, by the conservatives. And this is what I'm talking about. So for the first time, corporations are now trying to support both sides and now they're gonna have to choose. Yeah, I mean, and even Lemon here that, that gave us this gold says, it screams, hi gay, well, let's grab beers tonight, queens. Well, like, first of all, don't change the LGBTQ acronym. If you wanna do an acronym change, use anything but the acronym you're trying to support. Cringe. 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 The queer movement has had a long history when it comes to being marketable, family friendly, capitalized upon, but also just being accepted. Yeah, have a party, but remember the history that came along with the riots and the people who fought for the rights that we have today. Actually, I'm gonna correct you. It hasn't been a long history. It's been relatively recent that the companies have targeted us for our money. And for them, it's a long history. It's like- No, I know, but for my age, it's not. <laughs> You know, Bud Light and beer and vodka, they were the first to sponsor gays because they knew it was a lucrative market. And then when they got that blowback, 
they went so far back into the closet themselves, we learned who real allies are. In fact, one of the very first advertisements that were run for Pride related things was by Absolute. Yep. And it was a really chilling picture of a closet that was shaped like their bottle. Yeah. And while like, that's like, ugh, that's kind of weird if you think about it nowadays, that is a powerful message back in the day, 41 years ago. But the context of that, you're not old enough to remember, absolute ads at the time were all about their bottle shape and they used it in different forms, like a building or something. So that was a smart campaign yeah. at the time um, because they had a very unique bottle shape. How about this one from Burger King? Time to be proud, Pride Whopper. They have Whoppers that are only tops and Whoppers that are only bottoms. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute though. Come on. Where's the Switch Pride? <laughs> well, huh? well, that's why you eat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Switch is just the normal. Switch is the Some normal. of y'all are just greedy and want to be only tops with your burgers or only That's kind of cute because I didn't even put two and two together. So that would have taken me some time to figure out. Also, are those the gay Pride flag colors? No. If you zoom in on the Pride Whopper, yeah. that has Pride colors on it. Yeah, yeah, it's a clever concept. I like my meat either way. So regardless, I think it's a funny ad. But what about vegetarians? Canceled. Cringe. Would you say you had beef with this ad? Only at the top. And for this next one, I am always a fan of food for thought. I've never cringed and laughed simultaneously so hard to such a degree until I saw this Postmates ad. Postmates? You know what Postmates is, right? Do they do the sticky notes? <laughs> You're not serious. Yeah. The yellow sticky notes. No, they're a food delivery service. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just watch it, and I want you to tell me if you think it's cringe or if it's allyship. What are you eating, Miss Pride? Are the peaches and jockstraps? Well, well, if you're a top, it seems like you can eat whatever you want. True. Eggplant. But if you're a bottom, you're expected to starve? Oh. I like the little jock straps on the peaches. <laughs> I think it's cool that they actually know this. They've got the receipts too. Introducing the bottom friendly menu from Postmates. Aww. That's great. <laughs> We teamed up with Dr. Evan Goldstein from Bespoke Surgical to bring you a menu of bottom-friendly foods backed by science. <laughs> I like that. Life is crunchy. Won't help you feel cute, so avoid things like whole grains, wheat bran, cauliflower, potatoes, legumes. Hold up. Are you just fully diving into those beans? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's saying his jock They too. don't dissolve in water, which could cause a traffic jam this in so your useful. digestive system, this making is so a useful. mess of your evening. Speaking of messy, it's a good idea to avoid dairy. I cannot handle lactose right now. <laughs> if you're going to eat something insoluble, soluble fibers and protein are the key to having some good, clean fun. These all digest easily and slowly while feeding your good gut bacteria, which makes sushi a great bottom-friendly option. Oh, There's no better right way to bottom. But if you're planning on getting peachy this pride, the bottom-friendly menu on Postmates has the kinds of foods that can keep you feeling good. Are you organic? Actually, that was really well done. Why was that cringy? Well, and that's what they were saying is I've never cringed and laughed simultaneously like that. There, there's parts to that are like, I think uh, that they're cringing because they were called out. Oh. That's where the cringe came from. Self-referential self cringe. Self-cringe. Got it. I really, really, really <laughs> like the marketing that's not only funny, creative, they spent a lot, stop motioning that. Yeah, that's a lot. That, but also they, they had like actual facts and stats from scientists. And if they truly best. did that, they made a menu for they it. They did. That's actually going above and beyond any company just throwing money at the situation. I agree. Yeah. They, they are not only showing allyship, but they're showing allyship. You know, because some of y'all don't know how to eat. I'm gonna go buy more post-it notes. <laughs> next, next cringe. Next cringe. <laughs> Oh God, pride acronyms. There's been so many weird acronyms people are putting out. Like, did you see the pride demon? Yes. Like that was just. But I, I can't understand who, which side is putting that out. Or is it people who hate us or people taking it on? I might've bought some pride demon merch. So. Okay, so. But the gays have taken it back and they're like, oh my God, we're demons now? Great. That's why I couldn't figure out who was putting that out there. It was put out by people trying to be hateful and then we quickly took that took back it. and we said, what, that's cute though. It's like the word queer. Yeah. How we took that back. So maybe we'll take a, a pint out for the <laughs> So what is the acronym here? It's, it's, it's going Pride Month, which spelled yeah. out demon, remember? Yeah, 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 I know. But they're slowly just pointing out the P-I-N-T. <laughs> oh, that's a reach. <laughs> it's very cringy. It's silly.
Well, you mentioned Absolute earlier. Mm -hmm. Speaking of alcohol and, and allies, Absolute's marketing nowadays kind of looks like that. How does that make you feel? Here's to the family you choose. Absolute, it's in your spirit. I mean, there's a lot going on. I can't. <laughs> My only gripe with these kinds of ads is it makes it look like all gays want is alcohol. Well, but I mean, <laughs> that's what they're selling is alcohol. So, and bars are our church. It's not that's bad. That's where we congregate is bars. It's we not drink bad. a lot. Absolute, as we've said, have been there since the beginning. What I will give them is they didn't use two stereotypically white gay boys and jockstraps. That was my next point. They're cute, very- They look like they're having fun. Yeah. And they don't look too drunk. Yet. Yet. <laughs> This next one though that someone put in there, I like this, I used to play this game. I love Angry Birds. <laughs> so Angry Birds did like a spin-off game where they had characters that yeah. you could play as. And this was actually one of like the high up like legendary characters and this one says, maybe not weird in a bad way, but funny weird as in Angry Birds Twitter page acknowledging leather daddies or should I say leather birds in their pride posts. The only thing I have about this is, what, is that a goatee? What yeah, is that black a, yeah, thing? Yeah, it's a goatee. That's supposed to be a goatee. Or he ran into someone who didn't have the Postmates bottom friendly meal. Aww. But yeah, the leather daddy, cool. I wouldn't wear a chain <laughs> with that vest, but yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> I want to acknowledge that they said kink at pride. They said the Oh, there you go. The they beginning. did say kink at pride. I will say I hate the kerning of the letters in there. They don't match up with the colors. It wouldn't have been that hard to do, but that's a small Oh, wow. You really Bye bye birdie. Bye bye birdie. <laughs> which now we know how to say in other languages. Thank you Duolingo. <laughs> I really liked this one. This isn't an actual brand. This is just someone added this. Pride Month's here. Happy Pride. Wishing all the homophobes a super uncomfortable month. Yeah, and I've seen this everywhere. It's like we're reveling in, okay, we've got this now, and you guys are all mad about it. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a great thing that we're rubbing people's nose in their faces, but... Well, what do you do? Because we're, we're in this state of like, yeah, we want to be represented. We want the support. Mm -hmm. We want the allyship. But then when people let us down, what else do we do? Except well, and we're being attacked. Yeah. For it. So this is a way to fight back. I'm not mad about it. Yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, it's kind of like poking the bear a little bit. It is. And this is not associated with a brand. No. So it's, it, this is just a personal brand. We're people just being kind of shady and funny. Right. And if the bottom friendly menu wasn't enough, how about this one? That is not bottom friendly. <laughs> I've seen that one before and it actually turns my stomach. A, I don't like Oreos to begin with. So that much cream and color dye in it, it just, oh. For me, it reads, gays are only okay when they're full of cream. <laughs> cream filled. Maybe even double stuff. <laughs> and no one wants to taste the gay. They just want to look at them, you know? Unless it's Skittles. Then how about the Skittles campaign? <laughs> During Pride, only one rainbow matters. <laughs> oh, well that's kind of cool. That's not cringy. It kind of is though, considering white is all of the colors and sometimes the absence of color depending on pigment or, or color. Okay, now right? you're reading way too much into it. They're saying we aren't going to take focus from gay pride by using color in our advertising. But how am I gonna know the different flavors? It's an ad. <laughs> And last but not least, while very controversial right now because of Target, mm. Target oh. also has done lots of gay branding. Mm -hmm. And that one's a very difficult subject because these people that work in these companies don't want to get attacked for having pride campaigns and pride kiosks set up inside the Target. And like we know, being gay, homophobes are violent. Yeah. And we've had to live with that all our lives. Now these commercial organizations are now having to deal with it because they support us. It's a really hard place to be at, and I hope that Target pushes back and does something about it. But at the same time, some of their gay marketing is a little weird. I can't read that. It says, be in proud, be in proud, be in I When I saw it, I read it as be in proud. Like, I'm like bien proud. Muy bien? Yes, like muy bien. Muy bien proud. But bien also can mean I am very, like very good at, I'm mm. very. So being proud, I'm like very proud. I, 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 I understand it, I get it. People said it was kind of cringy. I like it though. It's not a good color palette though, because I can't read, I can't read the read them. B. <laughs> you can't read I that, can. but you can read them. <laughs> Drag her, slay her. This one had people in. I can't read that either. <laughs> Let me zoom in. <laughs> it's white font on pink shirts. Oh All my right, God. Yeah. But it says, live, laugh, lesbian. <laughs> 
Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and it's in the Live, Laugh, Love font. Yeah. They, they have a gay on it staff. It would have been better if they put Julia Roberts' head on that. I think that's what they were, they were trying to find someone that looked a Look little, like little Julia, Julia Roberts. <laughs> I kind of thought this one was f***ing hilarious, but some people online were like, this is cringe. Is it? This is where, as not a lesbian, I'm not making the default, this isn't offensive, but it is so cringe and referential, the Live, Laugh, Love font of that whole like, live, laugh, love. Like my mom has live, laugh, drink merch, you know, cause yeah. she loves wine. Yeah, yeah. It's calling out how terrible it is in a funny way. Even when doing pride stuff, even if you are a gay company, you do have to be at least conscious of, aware of, and respectful about how you brand and market things. But my, I think my favorite of the bunch is come out, come out wherever you are. No, that's that's actually the creepiest one. To I know. Me. That's why it's my favorite. Oh. I don't, I don't think it's a good thing. But yeah. I did want to buy it to see if it was terrible. <laughs> I think I am all uh, corporate sponsorship rainbow capitalismed out for the day. I think I've seen enough rainbows to last me a lifetime. There's Somewhere after this video, leave a comment down below. <laughs> and of course, whether you're living, laughing, or loving, always have a safe word. Today's safe word is... Hi, gay! <laughs> but regardless, I hope you all have a really lovely Pride Month. Take care of yourself, be safe, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Does Helix Sleep have a rainbow mattress? You cover it with a sheet. Why would you? Why would you? Wouldn't be able to see it. All right, fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs>